I love everybody. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing something special that I have been wanting to do and record for a long time. Um, I am doing my big Funko Pop. So like six inch pops, double packs, triple packs, um, pop rides, movie moments, anything you can think of that comes in a big Funko that I have in my collection, I am gonna show you today. So really quick, I wanna show you the difference between a big Funko and a small Funko, just so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. So a big Funko looks like this. This is Woody on RC or Woody with RC. Um, this is a movie or pop rides Funko Pop. And when you compare it to a small Funko, this is what you get. So. Usually the pop rides, big Funkos, things like that, movie moments, they all come with a pop figure, a pop vinyl, in something else, doing something, something that has to do with um, something that it drives, rides, something like that. So, I currently have quite a few that I've been collecting over the past year and a half. So, I wanted to go ahead and show those off to you today because I think I have like 20, 25 question mark not 100 sure so what we'll do is we will go ahead and start off with toy rc because it's already out and then we're going to go ahead and do the non-disney things first and then we'll go into the disney so this is woody with rc um i bought this off of amazon um this is a 30 dollar funko i ended up getting it for like 10 dollars off of amazon um unfortunately being the box collector that i am it does have a slit, a cut all the way at the top, um, which I don't know if that's why it was on Amazon, but I'll still take it because I don't take things out of the box. I display them in box, as you can see. So I wanted to show this one off. I am super excited about this video, to be honest with you. I really, 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 really love to show my big, my big Funkos off because they are um, kind of cool. Like the little ones are just the characters and those are super special and I love them as well. But like the pop rides and the movie movements, they all have something special going on. So the first one I'm going to show off is Aquaman. Um, it is a black and white Aquaman that is killing a monster. Um, I ended up getting this Funko from GameStop. Um, I got it for $7.99. It came with a t-shirt. Um, and it was basically like a mystery box that came with a Funko and a t-shirt and you got it for $30 where they had them on clearance for $7.99. They also had a Wonder Woman and they also had a Flash. But at the time I just wanted Aquaman. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get Wonder Woman and Flash, but it's whatever. So that is Aquaman. He is kind of cool. Um, he's a little bit of a smaller box. This is a Pop Heroes, um, Funko Pop. Um, and he is also GameStop exclusive, and he is a little bit on a smaller side. I also have the three pack of the Supermans, Chrome Superman, and they are red, silver, and blue. Um, and this is a 2018 fall convention exclusive. I ended up getting this one on FYE for $7.99. Um, I, they were on sale from $29.99, I think, to $7.99, um, because I think they had too many. So I ended up grabbing one of these. Um, I ended up giving, I grabbed two, but I gave one away in a giveaway months ago. Um, that was a cool one. The color scheme of those are super pretty and I love them a lot. That's why I picked them up. Not a huge Superman fan, not a huge DC fan. The only really the only character I love in DC is Wonder Woman. Um, but I ended up grabbing them just because they were so cheap. You basically got three Funkos for $8, which is insane. Um, the next Funko that I got was the Peppermint Lane Funko Pop. And this one I got from GameStop as well. It was on sale for $5, which is insane. And this buddy lights up. So he is going to be amazing on my Christmas display whenever Christmas time comes around and I start putting up Christmas decorations. Um, this, is this is gonna be my background and it's gonna be lighting up super pretty. And I can't wait to show that off. So that is all of the non-Disney. So let's get into the Disney. And when it comes to Disney, you obviously know that I collect Disney more than anything else. So the Disney 
big Funko Pops. I love them so much because a lot of them are Disney Park exclusives. And the Disney Park exclusives are something that I really love to collect, as well as I have a lot of non-Disney Park exclusives that are relating to Disney characters. So the first one that I'll show off, this is from Mulan. Uh, this is Mulan Riding Con. Um, I ended up picking this one up from, I wanna say it was Box Lunch. I ended up buying it online. I had some Box Lunch money. Um, it was $29.90, I think is what it was, and I ended up getting it for like 15. So it was a really good deal. This is also a Pop Rides because she is riding Con. Um, I have the rest of this collection except the 10 inch Mushu because I just don't collect any 10 inch Funko Pops. Um, but when I saw that she was riding Con, I had to pick it up because I love Disney horses for some reason, like like Brave with um, Angus and then Con and um, what's the horse from Rapunzel? You have to let me know in the comment section below what's his name because I tip my tongue and I can't remember it. Um, and when I remember it at the end of this, movie, this video, if I remember it, I will scream it out. But for the life of me, I can't remember his name. So if you remember his name or you know his name, the, the horse from Rapunzel, Tangled, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you. The next Funko that I have is Captain Marvel. This is Carol Danvers on her motorcycle. Um, I ended up getting this for free. I ended up getting this for free from um, Pop in a Box. So when I started my subscription to Pop in a, Pop in a Box, um, this was actually the free option you get from the Pop in a Box subscription. So when you start a subscription service with Pop in a Box, your first box, your you get a free pop from like the choices that they offer. And I've been wanting this for a long time. And when I saw this, she was the free pop. I was like, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. So um, I have a lot of Captain Marvel pops. She's an awesome addition to the collection. The next one that I have is Hulk, and this is a six inch pop. Um, this is from Avengers Endgame. Um, this was $7. I got him from Barnes and Noble. Um, they were having a 50% off sale and he was marked down to $10. No, yeah, he was marked down to $10 and I got him 50% off of that. So he ended up being $5. So awesome deal, awesome little Funko Pop. I love him a lot. Um, I have the regular version of him as well. So. I have him and I also have the six inch. So he's in his space traveling suit and he also has the infinity gauntlet on his hand, if you can see there. So that's pretty dope. I love the six inch pops. I don't know why, I just like them a lot. Um, the next one that I'm gonna show is one of my favorites I have in my collection. Um, and one that is sought after by a lot of collectors and it's just super expensive to purchase outright because it is such an old pop. Um, this is Ezra and Buggy from the Haunted Mansion. Um, it is a Disney Park exclusive, so you can only purchase this in the park or at Disney Springs um, a long time ago. I think it was like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like 2016 or 17 is when it was, when it was released. Um, and <laughs> it says Haunted Mansion. Well, there's always my way. Um, this is a $60 pop and I just happened to be scrolling Facebook Marketplace and was looking through Funko Pops, which I shouldn't have been, but I'm glad I was. And someone was selling this dude for $40. And I was like, you know what? Let me ask. And I asked, would you accept 30 for him? And they said, yes. And I lost my mind and I was like where can I pick where can I meet you where can I pick it up where can I meet you where can I pick it up where can I meet you where can I pick it up and she's like come meet me at this place right now and I was like I'm on my way because I have wanted this one for a long long time um the Disney Park exclusives the older ones all seem to be really pricey especially the bigger ones like this so I am super excited to have him in my collection he is also a pop rise because he's in his doom buggy so the next one, the next one that's on the top is a Funko Pop three pack. And it's also another Disney Park exclusive and someone that is very popular right now. It is my triple pack from the Splash Mountain ride in Disney World and Disneyland. Um, this one is from the 30th anniversary in Splash Mountain on Disneyland. Um, it does have Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear. 
Um, this Funko Pop is super popular right now just because Splash Mountain is losing um, the Song of the South styling and atmosphere to it. Um, and it is beginning transferred over to uh, Princess and the Frog. So I actually got this off of Shop Disney um, a long time ago. I want to say it was like five or six months ago. Actually, I think it was from, yeah, no, it was last year after my birthday last year. So it was in like August of last year. So maybe a year ago, um, they had a bunch of these on Shop Disney. No one was buying them because they had not made the announcement yet. So they had them on sale from $23 down from $50, um, which even at $50, you still get three Funko Pops. So it's a really good deal. Um, but I had a coupon for a discount and then I also had a gift card. So for my birthday, so it ended up being free, but I ended up getting it for like $20 total. So I was super ecstatic whenever they made the announcement that they were changing it over that I was like, oh my God, everybody's freaking out because they don't have these, but I have one. So I love this one so much. I love it so much. The next one that I'm super excited about and super happy that I have is my Alice in the Teacup from the Mad Tea Party. I got this one also a Disney Park exclusive. I got this from the Character Warehouse for $23.99, $24, I think is what it was. Um, I just happened to be running through the Character Warehouse on the way home from one of my park trips. I was looking through the Character Warehouse on Vineland and I was looking around. I saw some stuff that I wanted. I went through the line, I purchased. I just happened for some reason to look to the left in like the back corner where they, they usually keep the kids clothing and these were along the shelf i should have bought more than one but i was stupid and only bought one um this is fifty dollars a fifty dollar pop and at the this price fifty dollars i could never justify buying it in the park even with my 20 percent off um i just really couldn't i could not justify buying fifty dollars for a pop this size so once I saw it, there was like two or three on the shelf also. So I ran over there, I grabbed one and I immediately jumped in line and jumped for joy because I have wanted this pop. Again, never wanted to purchase it in the park because it was just too dang expensive. Um, but it's Mad Tea Party, Alice and the Teacup. Alice at the Mad Tea Party is what it's called. Um, and a, that's, a, a, that's a sought after Funko Pop as well. A lot of people want that Funko Pop as well. And it just super, it's just super expensive when you buy it all right. Um, this is a cool Funko Pop. I got this one from Barnes and Noble as well. Um, I got this one half off as well. It was, I think $5 marked down with everything plus 50% off. So it ended up being $5. Um, and that's all it's really worth. Um, is the Elasta girl on her motorcycle, her Elasta cycle. Um, I don't know why she's faced that direction. Maybe she's backwards. But um, she's pretty cool. Um, here's the back look. She's in her old Elastigirl outfit too. Um, I am working on this collection. I have a lot of these Incredibles 2 Funko Pops. I have Elastigirl, Violet, Dash, Frozone, and I have one, two, three, four, four to go. So super excited to have this in my collection. Also to get it for $5 was super cheap, super awesome. Um, it is worth that much right now. The price has gone down tremendously since the, the movie's not that popular anymore. But to have it in my collection, I'm super excited. This one <laughs> was an awesome trade that I traded to Jess over at the TIE Fighter. Link her channel in the description box below. Um, this is the six inch Baymax. Um, I, she had this one and I was like, I really want that Funko Pop that you have. And she's like, well, I have an extra. Um, and I'll trade you. So I ended up sending her a Funko Pop that was valued around the same. And we ended up making a trade. I gave her Cruella in car and she gave me Baymax. And I am so excited because I love Baymax. Baymax is me. I just want hugs and I just want to like help people. So Baymax is me. I love having my six inch Baymax. Love him. He's so cute. Um, I really want to get the diamond version of the of Baymax because the diamond version is really, really pretty. Um, but until that happens, I at least have the regular Baymax. So thank you, Jess, for that trade. I love him and he was always be, he always will be treasured here. The next Funko I got from Box Lunch. Um, this is Stitch with Ducks. Um, 
it's one of by far the cutest Funko I have in my collection. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Lilo and Stitch Funkos. I do have the original Lilo, or I have the original Stitch in my collection. Um, but this Funko was on sale for box lunch for 20, I think it was $24 and I had like $10 in box lunch money just from spending in the past. So I ended up getting him for $14 and like a dollar shipping. So um, it's a $30 Funko Pop that I have in my collection for basically half the price. So I love that. Um, he's super cute. He's also really sought after. Um, and I'm pretty sure if you hit box lunch up right now, he's going to be the same price. He's going to be about $24, $26. So, um, it's a really good deal. He's a really cool Funko. There's also a Loungefly backpack that is the stitch with ducks. I think he's like on a duck float and he's like duckies all over around him. So it's super, super cute. So if you get the, if you get the Funko Pop, make sure you look for the Loungefly backpack as well. Um, the next Funko that I picked up was from Amazon. Um, this was a, another one of those where you buy the Funko and you get the t-shirt as well. Um, I think I ended up paying $18 for this, which is a triple pack Funko. Um, and it's from the Mickey 90th birthday celebration. Um, and it says a true original and it is Steamboat Willie, Apprentice Mickey and Conductor Mickey all silver chromed out. Um, and it's super, super cool. The shirt was super cute. I gave it to my mom. I made sure to get the size my mom could fit into. So um, she took the shirt and I took the Funko because, duh. Um, so I love it a lot. $18 for a triple pack and a t-shirt. You can't beat that. That makes basically the shirt $10 and the Funko $8. So um, last year I bought this Funko from Amazon. It's for 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive, and it is from the Black Cauldron. It is the Horn King and Terran. Um, this Funko was $8 at the time when I bought it for some reason. And I was like, you know what? It's Disney, it's an old Funko, it's an old movie, um, and it's a, it's a limited edition exclusive. So I was like, let's go ahead and buy this for $8. Why not? It basically is $4 for each Funko. Um, I know nothing about Black Cauldron at all, but I was super excited to pick up this Funko up because it is an older style Disney classic and the Funkos are actually really cool looking. So I made sure to pick those up. The next one that I have is Pongo and Perdita from the 101 Dalmatians. This is a pop in a box exclusive. Um, this was one of the ones that I got for free. Well, in my subscription box that I ordered. Um, this is one of the ones that I really, really wanted from that subscription box. So I am glad that I have them. Really cute Funko. Um, this one is the most recent big Funko that I brought in. Um, this is the Jungle Cruise and it is the Jungle Cruise boat with a skipper. Um, this is a bummer. And as you can tell, this is a Disney Park exclusive, but there's no Disney Park exclusive sticker. Shop Disney released these on their website. They sent out every single person this Funko without the sticker. And I don't know if they released them in the park at Disney Springs and in the park without the stickers as well, if it was maybe just a fluke, but um, I ended up getting one without a sticker. So um, I don't know if that's gonna end up being a special thing. I don't know if that's gonna end up being a bad thing, um, but it is the Congo Queen and it is a skipper riding the Jungle Cruise boat. So the next Funko that I wanna show is for Candy Mom, for Cynthia Candy Mom. Um, this is Maleficent the Dragon, and this is the Box Lunch exclusive. She released on Box Lunch website, and I bought her straight up. They released her on the site, and she was immediately on sale for some reason. So I think I only paid 20 something dollars for her. Um, so I was super excited. She glows in the dark, um, not very well, but she does glow in the dark, her flames and her smoke, and then her eyes all glow in the dark. She is a box lunch glow in the dark exclusive. Um, and she's actually really, really cool. So funny story, Candy Mom or Cynthia really wants this Funko for me, but unfortunately she can't have her but I love her for trying every single time she sees me. Um, so, um, Candy Mom, call boxlunch.com about your own. Thanks. Love you. 
So the next one that I'm going to show is Cruella and Car. So as you told, I told you earlier, I actually traded my Cruella and Car because I wanted to get Baymax, but I bought a mystery box um, on eBay. I'll link that video in the description box below. So go check that out. Um, really got some awesome pulls. Um, I ended up grabbing Cruella and Car from that mystery box on eBay. So I ended up paying $12 for a $30 Funko Pop on eBay. So, no, actually $30, $32, $32 Funko Pop for $12. Um, so she's a really cool pop. She came in a pop protector. She is a Hot Topic exclusive and she also is a pop rides, which is cool because she comes in her car, which is super cool. Um, this is one of my favorite pop rides just because she looks cuckoo crazy. Um, but at the same time, it's just a bad looking Funko Pop. Like, I love it. I love it so much. So, I have four left. Four Funkos left for you to see. There's three from Frozen. Hint, hint. And there's my favorite Funko Pop that I have in my whole entire collection. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is the first one I picked up. Um, I picked this one up from Box Lunch itself. This was the Water Knock. Um, I ended up picking this Water up and Water Knock up for from ten dollars on BoxLunch.com. Um, for some reason, they weren't that popular. This is a six-inch Funko Pop, and they had them on sale for ten dollars. I have a dollar shipping, so I ended up only having to pay ten dollars for this amazing Funko Pop. And then, for some reason, Funko decided to release a second wave of Funkos from Frozen Two, and the second wave had. The water knock but frozen so when elsa freezes the water knock basically it turns into this um it's a really cool funko pop it's also a box of lunch exclusive as well they had this one on sale for ten dollars as well so i ended up getting both of them um fifty dollars worth of funkos for twenty dollars um so i am super excited to have in my collections these two water knocks are very very pretty um, I love them a lot. <laughs> like they're some of my favorites in my collection, uh, big fun of uh, big Funkos. Um, and to also have them to help me complete the collection of the frozen Funko Pops is really cool as well. And a part of that second wave, they also released Elsa riding the water knock. Um, so I was super excited to get her as well. Um, I ended up getting her on eBay for cheap. I think I ended up paying, she's like $32 regularly. I think I ended up paying $24. So I ended up saving $8, but she's a super cool Funko Pop. Um, the water knock is really pretty in this. And she actually has some really cool looking waves and water for this Funko. So the final Funko in my big Funko collection well, not the final, but the final one that I'm going to show because the one that I have, I just don't want to take apart, like take off the shelf because it's too fragile. Um, this is my favorite Funko Pop in my collection. It is the Disney Skyliner Funko Pop. Um, I It is also a Disney Park exclusive. I ended up getting this one from Hollywood Studios. Um, I drove down specifically to buy this Funko Pop because I knew it was getting released and I wanted one super bad. Um, it is... $39.99, I ended up getting 20% off. So it only ended up costing about $30, $32, um, which is not bad, but this is my hair Funko Pop I have in my collection. It is just too pretty. Um, it's really, really special. It is a Pop Rides as well, but like, it's like a Funko inside a Funko because you have Mickey inside the Skyliner and waving to everybody. It's just really, really pretty. I love it a lot and I am so happy to have it in my collection. Oh, that was a lot, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. That's all I have for you today. Big six inch and up Funko Pop. If you enjoy this type of video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are super, super, super close to, two, to 750 subscribers, and I would so love it and appreciate it if you would help me get there. Um, if, you hit, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button so I can make more videos like this. And then as always, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can notify when I upload a new video. As always, guys, thank you so much for being here, and let's go to Disney.